Hey there, welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving into an exciting update for our statmap indicators, adding close proximity liquidity pools. Before we do that, however, let's look at these new style options. We've added the option to individually select bullish or bearish manipulation distribution levels. So for example, if you had a bullish bias, you could turn off the bearish manipulation and the bearish distribution level, and you would be left with only the bullish levels. This also allows you to customize each level individually, so you could make the bullish levels green and the bearish levels red. This setting does not only affect the visual appearance, but it also allows you to further customize the alerts. If you, for example, only want alerts for the bullish levels, you could, for example, turn off the bearish levels. And if you set up the alerts now, it will only trigger the alerts for the bullish levels. Now let's get to the exciting part, adding close proximity liquidity pools. Using this setting, you can turn on both liquidity and already rated levels. And as you can see, liquidity pools get drawn out if they are within this plus minus percent range. This says it's within a 20% range. You could turn it down to 10% and this will only look at levels if they are within that 10% range. You can also look at custom timeframes. So if you, for example, only want to look at hourly levels, you can turn on the one hour. And as you can see, it will only mark hourly swing highs and swing lows. As you can see, price traded down, and as soon as price takes out this level, it changes the line style option to whatever you have put into that weight setting. Let's say you could, for example, turn it to a solid wet line with a five thickness, and as you can see, it will adjust accordingly. And as you can see, this is a quite a nice example. Price traded higher towards that bearish manipulation level. We can also, in this case, turn off the bullish levels towards that bearish distribution level and it exceeded that because we had that hourly swing low below that. If you also want to look at levels that happened within that session itself, session refers to whatever time frame you're looking at, in this case the daily, if it says only pre-session liquidity, it will only refer to liquidity points that have established before the current day started. If I turn that setting off, you will notice that this level should draw out. As you can see, price rejected off that distribution level paired with that swing low. And from there, we traded higher towards that bearish manipulation level again, taking out this swing high, which is liquidity pool in close proximity to that bearish manipulation level. This update doesn't only come out for the OHRC stat map, but also for the session stat map. As you can see, I added that session stat map to my chart and we have the same style options. And scrolling down, you can see we also added that liquidity pool. So now, for example, if I turn on liquidity here, also add the custom time frame, and this time make that weighted level, for example, in blue, you will see while we are trading within that session, these liquidity pools are plotted accordingly. There's also a small update for the statistical volatility indicator. You can now add a custom time zone. That's important because, for example, if you're looking at the American indices, you would always like to use the American time zone because America has the most influence on these markets. If you, for example, look at the DAX, you can change the settings to Europe. If you, for example, would like to trade the yen, you can also consider looking at the Japan time zone. You can also consider looking at Japan time zone because as you can see down there, these levels slightly change according to what time frame, what time zone you're using. This wraps up this breakdown of this new update to the stat map indicators. I hope you liked it. If you have any questions, please let me know and see you next time.